Welcome to NEASC Resources Part 1. In this video, we'll look at the NEASC resources that are being set up for you in Google Drive, how you can access that content, edit the content, post content of your own that may be beneficial to members of your standards team or to the entire faculty, and lastly, we'll take a look at why we're going to do it this way. By the time you view this, you will have received an email from Art Searle. The email will look like this. There will be a link in that email linking to a Google Documents folder. Click the link and sign in with your Google account. As soon as your request for access has been received, access will be set up, set up shortly after that. If after watching this video you're still in panic mode, you can see me, Ron Rounds, or your standards chair for a demo on how to get access to the content. When you click on the link, if you're not signed into Google already, you will be prompted to sign in to Google. Use the account that you're using to access the Common Task Database. Once you've signed into your Google or Gmail account, you'll see a message that looks like this. Click Request Access to get access to the document. That's this Request Access button right here. Once you've signed in to your Google account and you've been given access to the NEASC resources, on the top of the screen, top of your browser, you'll see a black menu bar that looks something like this. It may vary a little bit from uh, account to account. But you're going to be looking for Drive. Okay, Click Drive. And when you click Drive, it will open up your Google Drive where uh, you will have documents or folders that are available for you. If you are a first-time user, you might be prompted with a banner that looks like this and you might see a prompt that says download Google Drive for Windows or for Mac. You don't need to download anything, you don't need to install anything to use Google Drive. I would recommend taking the little X in the top right hand corner of that banner and closing it so that it dismisses that message. Once you've logged into your drive, you should see an icon or a link that says My Drive. Click the arrow next to My Drive to open up your drive. Some of you have been using Drive for a long time now, and you'll see your folders, curriculum, uh, recommendations, other folders that you may have put together, along with the documents that you've been creating. Uh, First-time users, you might see just a folder that says NEASC Resources. It will look something like this. If you click it to open it up, it will bring up a list of folders that have been uh, added to that NEASC Resources folder, uh, and you have access to the content inside of those folders. So, for example, if I'm on School Resources, I might click School Resources and see that um, Ron has already uh, put some content in there. The School Resources Pre-Self-Study Organizer is a document that you're going to need to access. Um, he's also added some other documents that are going to be beneficial to this pre-self-study work. Let's look at what that process really looks like. So here I am in my school email, and I've got a link from ArtSorl and a link to uh, a docs folder that tells me go click on it and open it up. Now, I'm not currently signed in to my Google account, so I need to sign in. Once I've signed in, I'm going to see the message that says, you need permission to access this item. All I need to do is click on the Request Access button, and I'll get a message saying, your request for access has been sent. As requests for access come in, uh, they'll, be, they'll be granted uh, very quickly, so it shouldn't be uh, very long before you get access. And when you do get access, you're going to go click on Drive, uh, open up My Drive, and inside of My Drive, you should see a NEASC Resources folder. Now, your folder may look a little bit different uh, depending on if you're uh, looking at it in grid view, you may see something that looks like this. Uh, I'm looking at this in list view, so don't panic if it looks a little bit different. But you're going to open up NEASC resources, and inside of there you'll see a bunch of different folders. Now, we all know how to use Google Search. So if you don't like digging through folders to try to find what you're looking for, and you happen to be on, let's say, for example, the school resources standards team. You can always start typing in school resources just like you do in any Google search and go find the content that you're looking for. And in this case I can see that there are three documents there uh, waiting for me. 
at this point, you can start to work on uh, documents that you need to work on. Whether you are alone or whether your team is gathered around an electronic campfire, you can go click that pre-study uh, organizer and start to work on it. And Ron has already uh, started on the school resources piece and added some resources that are going to be helpful for members of his team. Um, basically, he's listed the standards for each indicator uh, as they are listed on the uh, NEASC site. So if, for example, uh, I have to work on item 6.2, I can go click on this and start, start working on it. And have fun working on this. While you're working on it, don't worry about saving, don't worry about backing it up, don't worry about messing it up. Uh, Google and the steering committee are going to handle uh, all of those uh, nasty little requirements about backing this up and making sure it's ready to go. And to round this out, we'll talk a little bit about why we're doing it this way. As uh, co-chair of the last accreditation process, I can assure you that there were hundreds and hundreds of emails and documents that went flying back and forth uh, as we put this self-study together. It was a lot of work and it could be a nightmare again if we adopt the same method of emailing documents back and forth and cutting and pasting and trying to remember who's got the latest version and who's on first. Accessing the NEAS resources through your Google Drive is going to make this a lot easier for Mr. Bartley and it's going to obviate the need for him to be involved at a technical level and pulling his hair out trying to figure out how to piece these documents together uh, because the documents will be live they will be available to him. He'll be able to help monitor progress, help with suggestions, and it's just going to make the process a lot easier all around for everybody. If you've got questions, don't hesitate to see me uh, on this process. Thanks.